Can we really bond to zirconia? In this episode of Bytes, I'm going to talk about the nitty gritty about bonding to zirconia. One of the concepts that makes it really easy for dentists to understand is the APC concept by Marcus Platz in 2016. A stands for air particle abrasion, and that basically cleans the zirconia, removes any contaminants, and activates the surface. The P stands for the primer, and the primers are normally made of some MDP primers. And then the C stands for the resin cement. So we're gonna go into a little bit more detail about this, these steps. So the A, the air particle abrasion, we know that we can't etch zirconia we can't use hydrofluoric acid etch, and silane primers do not really achieve any zirconia resin bonding. So what the air particle abrasion does is it actually cleans the surface. It removes any impurities, removes any phosphates from the saliva, and it really improves the wettability of the zirconia. And how do we achieve this sort of air particle abrasion? This is achieved by using 50 micron aluminum oxide with one bar of pressure, and we use it at about a centimetre away from the zirconia for about 20 seconds. So this is the first step, we air abrade the zirconia. We then use a zirconia primer, so the P stands for the zirconia primer. We know that silane primer doesn't work, but an adhesive monomer like MDP is able to achieve this priming of the zirconia ceramics. And it's very important to understand about this MDP monomer. It's a very unique monomer that has been utilized for bonding to dentine, enamel, zirconias, and base metals. So this MDP, basically, if you look at the actual chemical structure, you'll see that the, the actual monomer is made of three different groups. A methacrylate group that can actually bond to composites and other cement. Then we have a long chain, 10 chain decile group and that really separates the methacrylates from a hydrophilic group, which is the phosphate group. And the phosphate group bonds to the zirconia, bonds to uh, base metals. So this zirconia is really attracted to phosphates and in saliva, there are phosphates. So we need to clean the surface by using air abrasion to remove all these phosphates because the zirconia surface is attracted to those phosphate groups. So if you look at the image on the right hand side, you'll see that the phosphate group from the MDP monomer is actually bonding onto the surface of the zirconia. So this clean surface, we can achieve that in a few different ways. One is by air abrading the zirconia, and another is using something called Ivoclean, which we'll talk about in a moment. Now, oftentimes we may use etch to clean lithium basilicate and those sorts of porcelains, but we don't use phosphoric acid on zirconia because phosphoric acid obviously has those phosphate groups and we don't want to have those, bi those binding sites on the zirconia being taken by the phosphate groups from the, the phosphoric acid or saliva. So our strategies for a clean zirconia surface, before you actually try in the crown or, or abutment or whatever you like to use, you could sandblast the surface of a zirconia and apply your MDP primer those phosphate groups are actually attached to the zirconia. And when you try this in the mouth, none of the saliva can actually get onto that zirconia. So if you do that, then just try it in, rinse it, dry it, and also reapply the MDP primer. What I tend to do though, is I tend to try in my restorations, whether it's be a zirconia crown, and then afterwards I would sandblast or air abrade, or I would use Ivoclean to remove all those salivary phosphates, remove all the contaminants, and then apply my MDP primer. So that's my preferred method. So the other product, if you don't have air abrasion in your surgery, is to use something like Ivoclean. And what Ivoclean is, is a hypersaturated solution of zirconia particles. When you rub it onto the zirconia, this actually draws all the phosphates from the zirconia restoration onto these zirconia particles. So it actually removes it and cleans the zirconia. And then the, the resin cement, the C stands for the cement, and we could use a self-adhesive cement, or in my case, I tend to use either a light cool or a dew cool resin cement. Uh, and most likely, if it's a zirconia crown, you'd use a dual cure resin cement. 
So to summarize, um, I try and the restoration my crown and then I would air braid 50 microns, about a centimeter away for 20 seconds. Or if you don't use air abrasion, then you'd use Ivoclean, but we don't use phosphoric acid. Then we use an MDP primer, uh, something that has the MDP, the phosphate groups. And then the C stands for our resin cement. So I guess the answer is we can bond the zirconia if we stick to these simple rules of the APC concept.